uh, China's two sessions that will be held in March 2022 for sure uh, will attract uh, global interest more than ever as China's role and influence is uh, now extremely important in addressing global challenges. I believe that China is a key pillar of the international system and uh, the global economy and the decisions that will be made during the forthcoming two sessions will largely determine the course and development of things around the world. I believe that China's role is extremely important in the global economic recovery and is perhaps the only major power that can play that role today. China's uh, economic stability combined with China's international economic cooperation initiatives with the rest of the world could make a major contribution to this difficult uh, moment. Two important Chinese sessions uh, put before us uh, quite big expectations. Uh, firstly, uh, today's world is very turbulent and peace is really, really uh, imperiled. My expectation uh, from upcoming sessions uh, is that uh, the Chinese influence and uh, contribution to peace, world peace and economic stability will be even higher. Uh, and uh, definitely uh, policy, stable policy of China and uh, stable economic growth uh, give us some guarantees that uh, China can have a very, very positive role in contemporary development in the world. The direction that China takes is extremely important for the rest of the world. And therefore, the two sessions now uh, play, have much more meaning and significance for people outside of China than it did, say, 30, 20 or 30 years ago. It did then, too. I mean. It, China's been an important country ever since, you know, it, it got it, came into being, right? But they're more important now because of the, the role, a, a guiding role that it plays in terms of, of world politics. And so it's, uh, it's extremely important for everybody. Uh, China has, I mean, contributed immensely uh, to control uh, this pandemic, not only nationally, but also globally. So I think uh, that will also be a focus of world's attention. And this uh, concept of, you know, shared future and common prosperity, uh, where Chinese government has taken a uh, number of uh, concrete measures uh, for distributive justice within the society. Uh, so I think that will also be, uh, you know, a point of attraction.